My travels on this series have led me to some incredible places and I've met some amazing people. But in this episode, I'm in New York and traveling to meet a truly inspirational woman who at the age of 99 is still living life more than most. Tao Poshan Lynch held the Guinness World Records title for the world's oldest yoga teacher, which she achieved in 2012 when she was 93 and she's still teaching today. However, Tao lost the title to the equally incredible Ida Herbert of Canada. But Tao has more than one feather in her cap, and since 2005, she's been a regular on the competitive ballroom dancing circuit. And something she doesn't know yet, she's about to be awarded the Guinness World Records title for the world's oldest female competitive ballroom dancer, and we're going to surprise her with it. I'm outside of the city at one of the studios where Tao teaches, and I'm gonna see her in action. Asha, oh, it's so lovely to meet you. I've heard so many things about you and I cannot wait to spend the next couple of days getting to know you better. Well, I hope I live up to it. Well, oh, I'm sure you will. I know you've got a yoga class to prepare for, so I'm gonna leave you to it and I look forward to watching. Thank you, thank you so okay. much. <laughs> So I was brought up in Pondicherry in India. I was watching some children, some boys on the, on the beach. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. And they let me join in. So I went home, told my aunt, you know, send me a new game. And the boys let me, she said, that wasn't a game. That was yoga. And it's not ladylike. <laughs> so I said, well, if boys can do it, I can do it. Tao continued to practice yoga as she grew up, but it was a chance meeting and an opportunity to be a fitting model for a Hollywood legend that dramatically altered the course of her life. At the end of the war, and I was repatriated back to France, but that's where Marlene Dietrich came to me and, and she'd come in from the trenches and she asked them to make the dress on me and she was going to appear that night at the big theater in Paris. And that was uh, one of, of the first things that uh, got me, you know, into it. You just fell accidentally into that yes. world? I was in all of them. I was at the Bob Hope show when he came there. And uh, then one day, oh, 1948, they said there are nine French models going to America. We want you to come. So I came to America. Fortunately, when I got to Hollywood, uh, and someone screamed after me, oh, you're the very person we want. So I was I do I know you? <laughs> no, but we saw you during the bombing in England, and you were not scared, and you were giving a show for all of us. And we need someone to show us how to put on shows. So I thought, what can I do? So I did a, a jitterbug wedding. Will you take this chick to be your wife? Chick, 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 chick. Will you take this Joe to be your man? Oh, yes. After helping to put on shows for American troops stationed in Europe, Tao soon found herself back in Hollywood as a dancer and actor. But it was her ongoing love for yoga that caught the attention of the stars. But I arrived in uh, MGM and one day, uh, Debbie Reynolds and, uh, and Catherine Grayson both asked me, oh, please teach us yoga. So at, at MGM, I started having a little class where I decided that I, I may be able to do yoga myself, but teaching other people, making sure that they do it right. Determined to teach the very best practice of yoga, Tao sought out some of the world's most renowned yoga teachers to help her further her own skills. 
For 17 years, Tao trained under the legendary teacher BKS Iyengar, who is often credited as one of the main people to popularize yoga outside of India. I went to see uh, Iyengar, and at Iyengar, uh, he said, I don't take women. So I told him he was a snob, and so he said, okay, start. <laughs> <laughs> it seems so accidental, but great fortune that your life has just gone and moved on into different phases. Y yes, to, to me, I, I, when I wake up in the morning, it's going to be the best day of my life. I, I don't want to wake up and think, oh dear, I have to do this and I have to do that. I don't believe in that at all. I really and truly believe that whatever you put in your mind materializes. Why has yoga been such an important part of your life? I think it's because I don't want to get up and say I'm sick or anything. I want to get up every morning and decide that whatever I want to do, I can do it. It taught me first how to breathe, how to look at things in life. Don't jump to conclusions. Feel that what's going on inside of you, is it worthwhile spending time bemoaning things that seem wrong? I don't want to sit thinking of all the bad things that can happen. I am only interested in what I can do, that I can live correctly. And if I do yoga, teach correctly. True to form, it was again a chance meeting that led Tao back to dancing at an incredible age. I started dancing about 2005. I was 85. I was doing a teacher's training program here for yoga, and they were doing outside there for dancing. And it was snowing, so neither my students turned up nor theirs. So they said to me, do you dance? And I said, uh, uh, no, but um, before I die, I'm going to go to uh, Argentina mm -hmm. and I'm going to learn to do the tango. They said, why don't you start tonight? So I did. And she's never looked back. In fact, she's won several hundred first place titles in competitive dancing. And we're about to add one more. Tao doesn't know she's about to receive this Guinness World Records title. Let's go and surprise her with it. Somebody's coming for you. Hi, Tao. Hi. I wanted to uh, surprise you with something. Guinness World Records have decided to award you with the title for the oldest female competitive dancer. How do you feel? <laughs> no words. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Are you shocked? Were you expecting it at all? I'll treasure it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank Aww. you so much. You're welcome. Hearing Tao's story and seeing her dance is the perfect reminder to get out and make the most out of every day that we have. I like the energy and the feeling that I'm in touch with my inner self. I try to live what I believe in. When I wake up in the morning, I see this is going to be the best day of my life. How other people perceive you has nothing to do with who that person is. I'm very excited to spend the next couple of days with you. because that's what I do. This is a lot to take in, even as a medical uh, professional. He won. 
I want to get up every morning and decide whatever I want to do, I can do it.